The trend of time poverty, I think, probably needs very little explanation. We all know what it feels like to be constantly on call. The average American spends 4.7 hours a day staring at their smart devices. And a lot of times it's in service of work. 50% of the young people we spoke to said that they check email even after hours. And even if you're over 35, you tend to do it just to a slightly different level. But universally, irrespective of age, people are growing resentment resentment about there's no boundary between personal and professional time. So time poverty is our desire to kind of take that back, to set aside time, be more purposeful. There's a fun app called Rescue Me and it works like a dashboard metric that tells you how long you've been on the phone or looking at your apps and it serves as parental controls. So when you hit your time limit, it shuts off your access. For car companies, the commute time is inextricably tied to how you manage your day-to-day. -day. And so we have to be thoughtful about making sure that when our customers are in their vehicles, they're, we're thinking about what do they want, how can we achieve their goals, and if that's productivity, then it means constant connection. But for other people, it means different things.